Here's my tutorial on how to make your own trampoline skis. These trampoline skis can be made for under $20 and are a fun and easy way to practice your tricks off season. The reason you don't want to use normal skis on trampoline is you don't want to hurt yourself cutting yourself on the edge of the skis, cutting the trampoline, or hurting your leg falling a weird way. Now let's get into the tutorial. In terms of materials, you're going to want four pool noodles, an old pair of shoes, and a roll of duct tape. On top of that, you're going to want a tape measure or end pen. With that, let's get into the first step of our tutorial, building the skis. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to build one ski first and you'll just copy it for the next one. Separate the pool noodles into two sets of two. First, grab a piece of tape and set the two pool noodles side by side. Make sure they're lined up on the end and tape the two sides together. Wrap the tape around and you should have the two pool noodles connected by one piece of tape. Then grab another piece of tape and do the same thing to the other side. Now you should have the two pool noodles taped together on each end. Next, roll out a piece of tape about half the length of a pool noodle. Then, in the crevice between the two pool noodles, tape them together. Then, do the same thing for the other half of the pool noodle. Finally, repeat that process on the underside of the pool noodles, and you should have the two pieces fully taped together. Next, we're going to want to reinforce the ends even more. Grab another piece of tape and wrap it around the ends of the pool noodles, right below that last piece of tape that you put on. This should create a longer barrier at the end of the pool noodles and keep it together on the ends. Next, grab your tape measurer and measure the length of the pool noodle. Cut that number in half and put a mark on the pool noodle in that spot. Then, on a piece of tape, mark the midpoint. Line those two pieces up and wrap it around the pool noodle right in the center. This not only will help reinforce the center, but it'll create a center mark for when we put on the shoes later on. Between the end of the pool noodle and the middle, put another piece of tape on each side so that the pool noodles will be even more reinforced. As the last step before we attach the shoes to the skis, put a small piece of tape at the end of each pool noodle. Then grab another piece of tape and wrap it around the end of the pool noodle, but leave a little bit of tape as an overhang over the end. Then push the overhang in. This should create a solid tape base over the end of the pool noodles and you should not see the pool noodle through the tape. This will create a safer end and a better place to grab when you're practicing your tricks on the trampoline. Repeat the process to create another ski. With that, the base of the skis are complete. Now for step two, add the shoes. Measure out the exact length of your shoes, cut that number in half, and mark the midpoint on the shoes. Then, with a pen, mark the middle of the piece of tape that had marked the middle of the skis. Then, line up the mark on the skis and the shoes and put the shoe on. Make sure the shoe is centered on the ski. Tape the sides of the shoes and the ends of the shoes so that the shoe is loosely on the ski. This will create a good framework for the rest of the tape that we'll put on the shoes. Now, reinforce the front of the shoe with pieces of tape and then reinforce the back of the shoe with pieces of tape. Get a longer piece of tape and reinforce the sides of the shoe as well. Now, grab four small pieces of tape and reinforce each corner of the shoe. With one ski complete, do the same for the other. Now, you have a finished pair of trampoline skis. For the final step, try out the skis. Before the video ends, check out the Sklar Skis merchandise shop. There's sweatshirts, t-shirts, and a ton of other skiing related merchandise. If you enjoyed the video, please like the video, subscribe, and comment some suggestions for what tutorials or videos you'd like to see next.